Hey everyone, we are here today with Priscilla Benkart and she just won gold in USPDF in New York. So we're going to ask her a little bit about what it was like. Amazing. So what made you apply? <laughs> well, so I mean, most honest question, just wanting to grow and wanting to challenge myself and do something different. I think a lot of people feel like they plateau at times and I feel like I was feeling that, but let I but that I had gotten better, but I wanted to do something with it. So I knew about the competition and this just felt like the year to do it. And I had competed one time before at the pole sport organization in the Northeast competition in 2017. Okay. And so it was nice having some familiarity with the competition aspect. So I think having done that before doing something like USPDF was really, really a good idea. Yeah, that way you get kind of the experience of, all right, it's time to do this, time to do this. Yeah. Was it similar to PSO? Uh, it, it was similar. So not, I didn't have as much preparation time as I thought, as I did with the PSO, because you can sort of apply any time for the PSO. So you can give yourself more or less time, depending on whether you decide to do it. But for the USPDF, they have deadlines for submissions and then songs and everything and then those deadlines only really gave us about four months a little under four months oh yeah <laughs> like, so at this time so it was you know around late December that you find out and then the competitions in early April so whether or not you've been planning like it's different for everyone but um but I had an idea but <laughs> not really <laughs> you kind of knew what you're going for <laughs> yeah exactly um how did you how did you choose your level what level did you compete in I think USPDF made it really easy to sort of allocate yourself in a level. So I think that the way that they broke it down was more or less move based. So I saw myself leaning towards amateur, but then when I saw some of the required moves, I realized that out of a, a few of them, uh, there was one I couldn't do, which is the no hand jade split, a man enough, woman enough to admit it, I couldn't do it. And I just <laughs> want, knowing myself, I just didn't want to spend all that time focusing to get one move when I just want to sort of have a good time with it. I wanted to have fun and I don't want to stress myself out. So, you know, in making that decision for myself, it was easy. I said, you know, novice, sexy, obviously level two. So they have level one and two. And I felt that I was at the level two sort of edging that line of amateur, but still not really being quite there yet. So mm. it was pretty easy. Once I knew the guidelines that they gave, it was, it was pretty straightforward for me to be like, that's it. Yeah. And that, that's pretty clear giving you straightforward, here, you can do this move and you should go in this category. Exactly. I, it was really helpful. They had a lot of great information just overall as a competitor, like props to them. They made it, they made the process fairly easy. That's awesome. <laughs> what was the application process like? Like once you decided what level, where'd you go from there? How'd you get in? <laughs> so they give you the guidelines sort of that they're looking for the, for the submission video, which mine I think was two minutes and 12 seconds. So if I'm recalling it, uh, it had to be maybe between 2.10 and 2.30 or 2.20. It was really not a lot of time. So, um, you know, you want to plan something, but there's not a lot of time to plan it. And you also just kind of want to exhibit. You don't really know what they're looking for at that point. So you just kind of roll the dice and try a couple of things. And so that's what I did. I just kind of freestyled to a couple songs that really inspire me and make me move. So I did that. And then you submit the video. You have to upload it on YouTube. And then you send them uh, the link, I think, or they look it up for you. I can't remember, but you have to send something about the information about your video so they can find it. And then uh, within a few weeks, they give you the response. And I got mine on Christmas Day, which was amazing. <laughs> the best gift in the world. Best Christmas uh, gift. Yeah. So, but being, I mean, honestly, being accepted was such an honor. And like, and I, I have even gotten that. I was just in, I was on clap mine. I was living it. And then, and then the high came down. And I realized I had a competition coming up. So I was like, all right, balls to the walls. So I got to get to it. Yeah. And, and, so, you know, not, not like, not a ton of time to like revel in that one success, but it was still, it, it just felt so great. It was really cool. And, and they give you feedback too, which is awesome. So, and that sort of follows up on, you know, how they're really helpful in trying to get you as best prepared for mm -hmm. the competition as possible. So they give you, um, sort of a review of your submission video and having that I feel like was really really helpful because it, you got an insight into what the judges were thinking and a little bit more of what they're looking for overall as a competition and and it just it was really nice and to take the time to do that I mean for all the submission videos must have been pretty wild so yeah <laughs> and props to that so that was yeah, that's incredible even even taking the time for the submission videos like you said like oh yeah that gives you such 
a better idea of what they want. <laughs> it was really nice. So did you did you have to choose your song before you submitted it, or was it after the submission video? It was after the submission video. So this this was a common question too, is a lot of girls were wondering if uh, your submission video had to be the song you were going to use in the competition. No, it can be okay. whatever song you want, but they do comment on the song that you choose. So they had feedback on you know the song that that I chose, and I'm assuming for a lot of the other people. And even supplemental, as I was mentioning, they had sort of an article outlining the general songs that they are looking for, which was really helpful, again, sort of depending on what type of sexy you're going for or what type of theme you're going for. Okay. You know, said this is this is sort of what we imagine when you're doing a slow and sensual routine. This is more of the badass, like debauchery, like, oh, type of routine. This is sort of the music that we that we, we imagine going with that. So, so still have, submit something kind of in the style that you want to go for, but... <laughs> yeah, totally. So it was... <laughs> It was nice having that too. Um, well, in that case, once you got the application, you, know, you were accepted, and how did you choose the song you wanted to compete to? Oh, right, the song itself. I totally skated over that. So, <laughs> the song itself, uh, I played around with a couple songs, and the sort of final call on it happened on a wine field night with my friend, <laughs> Johanna. Shout out, shout out. <laughs> To, I, I just was having a hard time deciding on where I wanted to go with my routine and we sort of latched onto the, the idea of you know what's my flow and so we kept mm. I put on a song she said, that's not the flow that's not the flow so eventually we landed on um which was a top runner anyway uh the 50 shades of gray remix of crazy in love by Beyonce so sex so freaking sexy and but then you have to submit the song to make sure that no one else has chosen it so that was a whole other like anxious ridden couple of oh. days and then, do you, and then do you have a timeline like you had four months until the competition, but when do you have to submit the song by? Because that's that can it, be tough. It was fairly so the song to get approved, you had to do it fairly early, but then um, but you still had until April 1st to submit the song itself. Oh. So the competition was April 13th. So there was time. You had time if you wanted to change it. But again, the longer you waited, the less chance you had of like really maybe getting the song you wanted because there's, you know quite a few girls there so you don't know what they're trying to do and I was just so happy when I saw that when I found out that I got the song because it was it's such a good one I thought for sure someone had taken it but it was meant to be it's meant yeah to be. You, you can't go wrong with the song no. like that. <laughs> <laughs> that girl she always carries it out <laughs> so you had you had four months to prepare how did you prepare your yourself and your routine like what was what was your preparation like <laughs> Well, um, so I'm really lucky because I'm an instructor too. And so I basically get to train every time I'm teaching and I always use <laughs> opportunities to like do a couple extra and just for me. But, um, but, you know, I'm lucky that that is, you know, works double time. I get to grow as a pole dancer and I'm training as well. But, you know, so for myself, yeah, that, that's always a helpful thing. And then on the side, try to do some conditioning and whatnot when I can. Mm -hmm. um, but as for the routine itself, I mean, honestly, I kind of planned a lot of it in my mind, but I would take back what I had thought of and then get to the studio maybe an hour and a half earlier and just work it out. Just work it out. See what worked, see what didn't. Some things worked, some things didn't. <laughs> just kind of adapt it. So, you know, I like to, I listen to the song, I have it on repeat and I just get to know it. So first my brain gets to know it and then my body gets to know it. So I sort of use those two together to sort of get used to the song. And then I, I piece it out in chunks of where I want to do things and then trying it out, which helps me realize moves that are more, you know, energy conserving. So sometimes mm -hmm. I want to sort of break it up and make sure that I'm doing moves that can sort of give me a break in between the big moves. And then yeah. know if making sure that I have enough energy to get to those big moves, the big power moments, you know. But um, so, so you kind of map out your entire routine in your head, trial and error, what works, what doesn't. Absolutely. And I, you know, a lot of people have a lot of different ways of doing things and mine may not be the most accurate or the most, most consistent, but I, you know, I find it works for me. And I think that, you know, I can totally put together choreography for someone else, but it's kind of tough for me to do it for myself. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I know how I work and then, and so you just kind of plan around it, but also um, there's a lot of dancing through the song. So you know, I use that as conditioning more than anything is I just kind of, I'll try to dance through the song at least mo several, always four times, you know, in one day and that's sort of a training. And although that may be only like a 15, 20 minute workout, you know, it still, it still gets your body used to doing, doing a solid three minutes flat. Yeah. Now. 
Yeah, you know? and that's what a lot of people struggle with is it's it's that length of time because it's easy to do a couple of moves here and there, but once you string together an entire several minute long choreo that you have to do from start to finish, it can be tough. <laughs> it can be very tough and there's a couple there are defeating days where you're like damn I couldn't even get through the first minute and a half you know but but <laughs> you just have to you just have to keep pushing through it and then you'll your stamina will get better endurance will get better and you know it's uh it, it can be a process but you push through it because you want to do it yeah it is. but I changed uh changed my diet a little bit not too much but I tried to get a little bit more sort of plant-based proteins and a little bit more vitamins like vitamin c and d just to keep my health up because everyone was sick around me I don't know, I think vitamin C really works, but everyone got sick, and I had already been sick a couple times, but, um, and then... That extra protein will definitely help you keep that energy up, and... <laughs> it's what I need, so I, I try to go for that, and then I kind of stopped smoking, I stopped smoking cigarettes for about a month, well, a month before the competition, so I think that contributed to preparing as well, and I'm, it's not, I'm still doing the e-cig thing, I'm still doing the jewel, but I, it's better than the cigarettes, man, and I'm not, I haven't yeah. bought and so it feels good I so I did a couple different things but I'm like I said I'm already blessed because I get to teach all the time anyway so so but a lot of a lot of time. You an extra excuse to go and train <laughs> exactly. exactly so you've taken you've taken like four months to train you're finally at competition competition weekend let's start from the beginning okay uh, you said it was April 13th so Friday Friday yes <laughs> yeah Yep. So uh, Friday the 12th, uh, we all had to be there in the morning at 1030. And I thought I wasn't competing until Saturday. But again, it was NACC at there a little bit early, but not trying to stay there an extra night. So yeah. drove up on Friday morning. Um, it was an easy drive, a little bit of traffic, but we got there right on time. Um, we waited from Providence, oh, Rhode Island. I'm sorry, we drove from <laughs> Providence. We drove from it's only about you know, three and a half hours. It took us around four, but it was an easy trip. You know, I lived in New York. My boyfriend's from New York. So okay. it was a trip we were too intimidated by. You know, you're been a while. I still <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you you're say? You're kind of familiar with the area. You know what it's about. <laughs> yeah, still frustrated by traffic, but yes, familiar with it, you know, <laughs> but, um, uh, when, uh, we, we got there, we all kind of waited outside. They called us in and we checked in. And when we checked in, we got our um, competitor gift bags, which were oh, phenomenal. I, I mean, so, so generous. The sponsors were so generous. Coupons, little samples. It was amazing. So we're all sort of like gushing over the bags. And there's sort of just like a big energy all in. We're in the symphony space. We met at the space um, at the venue. So um, we're all just sort of bustling around. And you can sort of feel the energy. And everyone's anticipating. And finally, we get to sort of the meeting part of it, which is why we all had to be there anyway. And um they talked about what was happening that night what was happening tomorrow when we had to be there where we had to be and sort of everything in between and then they gave us the option to um a lot of people asking we had to fill out some forms so a lot of people like hey you got a pen i didn't have a pen i had to ask so it was a nice way to get uh, hey nice to meet you can you can i borrow your pen or um but uh and then uh, after that they had the option to do a poll test which i was very tired so i opted not to do that i just kind of like <laughs> wanted to go back and um so so the, the day of and yeah take all your energy <laughs> rolling the dice you know but but yeah I was tired and you know when you're sitting after sitting all day you kind of just want to like lay down or or maybe like walk around or something so uh so after that what was it so Friday after that it wrapped up maybe around three or four and then got to my hotel which is this amazing hotel it's called even everybody should go to it. If you're any sort of athlete or pole dancer, like go stay at this hotel. If you're competing or doing anything athletic in the city, it's amazing. It's amazing. They have was a couple this, locations. Uh, was this a USPDS sponsored hotel or, or no, I don't think it was, but it should def definitely should be. <laughs> it should be. It's, but it, it just was the perfect atmosphere and environment for, uh, for an, anybody who's an athlete. It's sort of focused on wellness and, uh, health and, um, activity and exercise and, they have a yoga mat in the room, a yoga roll, like one of those rollers, a yoga, I don't know what it's called. The foam rollers? Or, yeah. Or rollers. Yoga wheels. Yeah. They have um, blocks. They had one of those workout towers with resistance bands. So you could like Ooh. work out while you're, you know, pre-work. In the hotel room. <laughs> yeah, in, the, in the hotel room. It was awesome. And on TV, they had sort of running 10-minute workouts that you could do too and ginger water awesome. and 
24 seven fitness. It was dope. That was my shameless pitch. That was, it was amazing. So great hotel to be in anyway. And then, you know, spent some time with my boyfriend and his family and then just called it a night. Fell asleep with my crystals in my hand. That was, yeah. So just that was all those good vibes going. <laughs> today was a wrap. Friday was a wrap up. Crystal, crystal time, crystal sleep. Perfect. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. So how was competition day? Friday sounds like it was amazing. It was, it was good. Friday, Friday went really well. Oh, and the, oh, and I forgot to mention. So Fiona was the receptionist at this hotel. She gave me a complimentary breakfast after asking me why I was in New York. I told her that I was here for the competition. She lit up. She said, oh, I've always wanted to try pole dancing. Oh, that's awesome. And obviously, I'm like, you totally should. You know, it's the best <laughs> thing ever. And she gave me a complimentary breakfast. So that's how I started my day on Saturday. <laughs> She said, so you can be nice and ready for your competition. So you know, I woke up, woke up kind of early, just kind of wanted to warm my body up, warm my mind up, get everything ready, had some breakfast. Um, and uh, I didn't have to be in till around 1230. I wasn't really expected to be on till around 230. So I had some time, but I was okay. the first one. It was nice having a little bit of that time, but I still wanted to get up early and move around and get my right, get things right, get it all nice and right. And got there and you know it just it really was such a warm atmosphere backstage and the environment was really nice and everyone was really accepting and supportive and I just I really couldn't have asked for anything better and as terms of you know camaraderie I mean people were really people were just really willing to help each other out and we mm -hmm. all talked about you know where we were from why we're there um, you know, what we hope to gain from it. And it was like overwhelmingly just want to have fun, you know, <laughs> go beyond my boundaries, just do something different and meet people. You know, it just was yeah. such, it was, it was a lot. I feel overall, a lot of competition vibes can be kind of tough, but it didn't feel that way here. It didn't, it just felt mm -hmm. like a group of people coming together to share what they love and, you know, hope to get like maybe a little something out of it, but it just, it, it, everything else was so much more to it. So it was really cool. That's, that's one of the best things about the pole dance community is it's, just, it's a family. People, people are all about celebrating each other and yeah, it, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. I, I noticed that just all over the place, conventions, competitions. <laughs> it's really cool. It's really, really cool. And it's really, it's just refreshing. I really like it. Uh, so yeah. I was definitely happy to be there and overall a warming comfortable environment so that's awesome that's very cool with time to warm up too so that was nice yeah <laughs> and space they really keep it it was run very well they organized it well there wasn't a lot of it was not packed backstage they really try to keep people separate which is good peace of mind everyone can have their space you know and and get ready the way they need to so that was cool yeah and they can kind of chill out and they know when they'll be called up and everything like that good good hell yeah what did you do like when did you get there and once you got there, what did you do? Um, so uh, I got in and I just kind of set up in a little corner space because they weren't taking us backstage yet. Um, yeah. But I, I didn't have to get any hair and makeup done. So went backstage, kind of settled in a spot. And then, you know, more people kind of started going in the area. They're like, can we set up here? I'm like, well, I'm here. No one said anything to me, you know, <laughs> so it all just kind of accumulated. And uh, but I was doing some warm ups, just trying to drink a lot of water. Yeah. Get get, you know, like just ton of dynamic exercises, things to get my body warm and get it loose and limber and um, walking around a lot. Cause just from being so antsy, you know, like <laughs> to make sure the makeup's right and everything. So there was uh, the, the backstage again, it was, it was just really long and it just, it had a good amount of space for it for, for you to kind of Zen out. But um, uh, I had heard that they were wrapping up the end of the prior category. So the level two artistic was right before us. And so I sort of had a freak out moment because I thought that they were like, we're going to call me up instantly. They had just finished the awards and, and everyone around me like, I think, I think they just finished the awards. So I'm like, oh shit. So I'm trying, but they're like, relax. I said, no, no, I'm cool. I just, I just want to make sure I'm ready. So I like run to the entrance to where the stage is. And I'm like, I'm here. They're like, okay, cool. And then we, they took a break. I mean, it was like 10, to 10 oh. got on stage. So, but I was ready, you know, I was just, I was just ready. I was there to get my grip. Getting everything already ready to go, already gripped up, just ready to get on stage. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting nervous just thinking, <laughs> just putting myself there. I'm getting nervous again. So, but yeah, so ready. But that part, I was for a brief second, I wasn't ready, and then I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> were you Were you first? Did you know like when you were supposed to be going in your category? Yeah, I was. I was first. I had to go first out of the. Um, I think we had 25 competitors, so it was. <laughs> It was good. 
I'm glad I did. How, do you, how do you feel about being first? That well, sounds a little nerve wracking. <laughs> it is, but at the same time, you're, you just kind of, you're kind of just trailblazing, you know, you're the first one, you're like, all right, I'll <laughs> try to set it up, you know, and I, I think once you start to overthink it, and really sort of internalize it. I'm first. I'm, uh, you know, all these. Um, what is this? How? What does this mean? Me being first, and in terms of, you know, performance and how you're gonna do. And you're like, I have no one to compare to. But at the same time, I'm sort of, you know, I, I also don't have that weighing on my head when I'm going out there. I don't have to think of what everyone else did and worry about doing something like that because like that happened. I've, I last time I competed. I'm, you know, you're watching and you're wondering, well, wow, I. I, maybe I should do that instead of this. And no, 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 just stick to what you're doing. You know, you <laughs> say yes a lot. So that uh, is an excellent, excellent piece of advice for, cause I know a lot of people get nervous about, Oh, what am I going? Where, where am I in the lineup? And that, that can, that, that adds a lot of nervousness. <laughs> and, and, you know, depending on wherever you are, I mean, you, you have a right to deal with it however you want to, but you know, I feel like some people might've seen it torturous to be the first and then have to sit through everyone. But it was really just kind of a beautiful thing. I mean, I didn't have, it It was sort of, there was some relief because I knew that I, there was nothing I could do. I mean, I, I had finished, I had given it my best and you come off stage and you're a little like, what the hell happened, you know? <laughs> but, but it was still, uh, but it was so nice seeing the girls perform. And I just, I, I pulled myself out of the competition aspect entirely. And I just was appreciating this talent ahead of me mm. and just in front of me. And it was really just sort of like, wow, like I'm a part of this like whoa yeah. you know these people are really talented and and that was like that was really humbling and it was just beautiful it was a really beautiful experience and of course you know the anxiousness of waiting just builds up and so I'm like pacing around and <laughs> hopping outside to get a cup of coffee which probably didn't help and then getting a little snack and just kind of waiting through it but but I mean you know that may be the the, the worst part about going first is that you know you just kind of at that point you just have to wait but enjoy yeah. enjoy it enjoy that moment where you're like huh it's done. I did it. You know, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> now I can enjoy every moment, you know, so it's, uh, of it's course, right. before you went on stage, it was kind of a, a nervous kind of, I'm ready to do this and just go ahead and let's, let's do this. And before, afterwards you're just like, all right, I did it. Let's just not think about it. <laughs> Total, that was, uh, that was uh, body, body reactions and everything. That was, I'm ready. <laughs> Out there. Let's just do it. I've got my heels on, you know, through the back up. Hey, look, you know, you, you just, you just go out there, you call your name and you just have to fucking do it. So, and I felt good, you know, the routine felt good when I was doing it and everything, but you always, you always look back. It's never, you always look at the things you could have done better, but I'm yeah. so incredibly happy with how it went overall. You know, even, even thinking about how I felt when I had just gotten off stage, I was like, you know what? It really felt good. I have no idea what I did, but it really felt good. You know, <laughs> so it just felt, I don't feel I'm not tired. I'm not, you know, like wondering where I was. I mean, I did have that kind of, what the hell just happened? What did I do out there? Was it good? <laughs> Disorientation of, of, you have all these spotlights on you. And so you just kind of zone out and you do what you know you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It felt really good. It felt really so good. You had, to, you had to sit through what, 20, 25 girls? 24, I guess. 24 girls. What was it like waiting when they were announcing the winners? Like what was going through your mind? <laughs> I was actually at, so they wouldn't let you, at least to my understanding, they wouldn't let you bring drinks all the way in. So I had just gotten some coffee because it was like at the, it was nearing the end and I was getting increasingly more anxious. <laughs> so I got a cup of coffee, another one. And I was just waiting kind of at the side and I, they had wrapped up the last performer and they, you know, I kind of figured they would take a little bit more time to deliberate. And, you know, I'm standing at the back of the, of the whole auditorium and I see Wendy coming on stage and she's about to call the winners. And I'm like, wait, shit am I supposed to be somewhere <laughs> so I still I'm I'm kind of changed but I saw my competition top on and I have a shirt over it and I have these cute little pants that you'll if you ever see the picture you'll see the cute little floral pants and we'll, I just we'll, like, have to, we'll have to include a picture <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll throw that in there we'll throw that in there and so I just bust my ass just going and I'm like get back stage I'm like I didn't know we were supposed to be here and everybody just looks and then just right back to money you know they were not <laughs> these people are saying and they're like all right what the fuck that we're just trying to pay attention to what's going on so at that point, the third had been called on and we're like, yeah, man, yeah. And so we're all just kind of waiting there. And then, you know, second place. And so third place was Lisa Bella. She's this amazing pole dancer. She did a great job. Her routine's awesome. 
Um, and then second place was Monica Ruby, also amazing dancer. Like you guys need to find them and follow them. They did a great job. Uh, so they called both of them out. And then there's, then that's where you have that feeling. You're there with, you know, 23 other girls and you're like, well, shit, <laughs> one of two ways. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to get first. <laughs> okay, but it's like the O-Town cause I want it all. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, but it, it's really that feeling where I'm like, wow. Okay. So all right, kind of coming to terms with myself that, you know, it just didn't happen this year. And I had such a great time. That was totally cool. And then they said my name. So I <laughs> like ripped my shirt off and I was like, oh, my shit. <laughs> I ripped my shirt off and I get on stage and, you know, I'm glad I hadn't stayed in my outfit because the girls were so much, even in their heels, I'm so tall. But even in their heels, they were still like up to here on me. If I had been in my heels, they would have had to get a wide angle of that picture, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's difference. It's cute, but they were so sweet and we hugged and I first person to great give me the first hug was Wendy and that was awesome and then you know just making my way down and taking and some Wendy's pictures the, Wendy's the organizer of the competition okay. yeah she's the the um she's the she created USPDF she's the owner of New York Pole she's just amazing I mean she really has done a lot this is their 10th year anniversary doing the competition and oh wow it was, man, it was smooth they did a really great job so um, so like, you got gold on year 10, which is yeah. an awesome landmark. <laughs> so cool. I mean, you know, just way beyond what I, honestly, way beyond what I expected. And everything just was so great about the weekend. I mean, I just, I couldn't have asked for anything better. So it was, it was great. I had a, a michelada after and some tacos and yeah. hugs my, my family and my, my boyfriend. And it was just, had a great night and it was awesome. Great, just great time. party out, celebrate. Yeah. Enjoy the fact that. You got something awesome and, and you worked hard for it. <laughs> yeah, I did. I really did. And I, and you know, it just, it's just nice. It, it would have been amazing regardless, but to sort of see and actually have something that, that is like, you, you did a great fucking job. Yeah. <laughs> you know, have something really like good material in your hands. I can be like, you fucking rock this, you know? Yeah. You, you accomplished did this. <laughs> yeah. yeah I know. In a, for, for, in a better, in better words. Yeah. You accomplished. I'm like, you fucking did it. <laughs> I'll don't worry, we'll bleep it out. <laughs> we'll throw some bleep bars on it. But but yeah, so that was that was awesome. That was really cool. I felt very proud. So what's next for you? Like you this is this is kind of the start of your pole career now. Um what do what do you have your eyes on? What's your next goal? <laughs> well, there's there's still so many steps that I wanna take. Um I'll definitely be competing more just regionally outside of the area I'd like to travel and compete Ooh. you know just I I want a little bit of exposure and I want I I want to you know challenge myself especially being in totally different and somewhat foreign areas and not necessarily foreign countries but just places I've never been to to meet more people get mm. get more experience and just grow I mean shit like it, it's that it's just forward I just want to go forward and I feel like I've got some really great things kind of brewing ahead of me and really, really big things. So yes. I'm, excited. I'm excited and you have to, you have to believe in yourself and I'm learning that every day and I have wonderful people around me to remind me of that. And cause I'm, I'm like my worst, I'm my own worst cheerleader. I'm the one that would be cut <laughs> from the team, like fuck out of here. So, yeah. you know, but, but I'm learning to just to, you know, just embrace and be proud of myself and the accomplishments that I've done. And I mean, you gotta, I don't know. Feels yeah, good. Just, just keep, keep the momentum going and, yeah. and act, say like, Hey, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously train, you know, up my training up. I'd like to level up in the words of Sierra. That's like the leveling up. I feel like I'm at that, that point where I just kind of want to take it somewhere where I've never been before and we're and going to pole con this year. So excited. So excited. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's gonna be great. Like I'm, I'm so looking forward to being out there. And, uh, and it's a that's a pole uh, pole convention in Denver, Colorado. International pole convention in Den in Denver, Colorado. Yeah, um, and it's, it's exciting. exciting. <laughs> yeah, they've got workshops and a ton of you know real real professional, real talented dancers that you know for panels. There's panel discussions. There's workshops, classes, like project type. I mean, it really is just so so vast in the world of pole <laughs> just every polar's dream is is what i'm expecting at international pole convention this year so 
it's going to be pretty great. <laughs> so that's coming up soon. And then just hoping to meet so many people, whoever's coming, let us know, let me know, let everyone know, because we want to, we want <laughs> to, the world. we just want to give hugs to all the pole Kings and Queens. Oh, I dropped my clip. Just hugs to pole Kings and Queens around the world. So, so check this out. Say hello if you recognize us. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, the, I mean, best, best gift of all, you know, doing something that was scary and challenging, but you know, just getting so much more out of it than I would have ever expected and yeah. just feeling, feeling ignited, you know? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And you're ready to make the next step in, in whatever comes next. Do you, do you have anything in mind? Like, is there any specific uh, competition you're looking at or do you, are you starting to take those steps? Cause it was only, it's only a couple of days past the competition now. Right. Right. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm looking at I'd like to do maybe two of the I know that USPDF doesn't have anything until the next calendar year, which mm -hmm. I'll be there. I'm hoping to get into amateur this next competition. So I'd like to compete in amateur. So that's something to look forward to. Um so a lot of training going into that, really getting that no hand jade split. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna friggin' get it. And uh, you know, like I said, a little bit more of the pole sport organization stuff, again, sort of maybe close to home, Rhode Island, but not so far that well, close to home, but not so far that I can't afford it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, start, so, start a little local in that local region and yeah. start to spread outwards. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, uh, you know, just, just, you know, constantly pushing myself, but yeah, those would be the big events. I can't think of anything else at the moment that I would be a part of actively. Oh, I was thinking about being, uh, there's a performance. Uh, well, I'll, I'll talk more on it if it happens, but uh, it's an exotic performance that's somewhere in mass. So I was thinking about applying to it to be a, a perform. And there's some really good names that are kind of on the bill. So it'd be nice to be alongside and meet them and work with them. It'd be really neat. So, so we'll see, we'll see what, if that works out. <laughs> Well, that's exciting, and it sounds like you're you're geared up and ready to go for whatever comes your way next. And <laughs> ready, going all the dues. No, it's been it's been really great, and thank you for you know listening to me and all of my experience. I really appreciate it. And thank, thank you for taking the time to to be on today with us and oh. talking about your experience, because that's that's something that a lot of us. Uh, like it's intimidating. It's intimidating. And then not knowing like what were you feeling and how'd you do and just yeah. like what is it like? And just that that's awesome to hear. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's and it, the experience really is different for everybody, but to sort of have a at least a little bit of an insight into, you know, what the daily happenings are like. Cause I know if you're from if you're not familiar with New York, it can be so freaking intimidating. I mean, I know that that's not where all competitions are, but just in general, I mean, when you're going somewhere to a city that you're not familiar with, it can be really, it can be really jarring and it can throw you off. So, mm -hmm. you know, rest easy. There's always, there's always people that are going to help you. It's never, you know, just, you just want to plan. You just want to be prepared and watching this video hopefully will help you if you're ever going into something like that, or at least have an idea of what you're getting into when you go into it. And it was all good. <laughs> I really, it was all good, you know, and if you ever have any questions, let me know. I'll help. But, um, but like I said, they did a great job with the competition, you know, getting it together and all the information anyway. So USPDF was very helpful with that that's, too. That's so you got us and you got, you got us and then you got them. So <laughs> you got help all around. Yeah. Whole family all around. Whole fam is pull strong for sure. For sure.